Welcome to the many faces of the robin. This photo was used by the resident artist of the French magazine La Houlité to produce the front cover of an issue that was almost entirely dedicated to the life of the robin. A common sight in any garden is a friendly robin following us around, looking for worms and insects as we disturb the topsoil. But there's also another side to the robin. As it's a very territorial bird, it will protect its own patch from other intruding robins, firstly by making a threat display, by puffing out its red breast feathers to make itself look as big and threatening as possible to the intruder. Usually a mixture of threat displays, a bit of chasing and loud ticking calls will be enough to see off most intruders. If this doesn't work on a very persistent intruder, you can sometimes end up with a serious physical encounter between the two robins. Fortunately this doesn't happen too often, as the rightful owner of the territory usually wins at these display encounters. We may enjoy the pleasant sweet sound of the robin as it patrols its territory singing from the treetops, but to other robins it has a completely different meaning. If we could translate the song and hear it as other robins do, it would probably sound more like, keep out of my territory, because if you don't, there'll be trouble, and I'm bigger and stronger than you anyway. A very different song that is not always easy to hear is the quiet or sub song, usually sung in the autumn. It's a very gentle sweet song that is sung from or from inside a hedge or low bush and can only be heard from just a few yards away. There's no obvious reason for this singing and it's probably very unlikely but I'd like to think that it's doing this purely for pleasure. There's also a softer, more caring side to the robin. Later in the winter, sometimes as early as Christmas, robins will start to pair up and share a joint territory. Depending on the weather, March is usually the month that the hen starts to build a nest from dried leaves and moss. It's usually low down in a bank or wall, but it's notorious for building nests in all sorts of odd places such as an old kettle, or even in the pocket of an old jacket hanging up in a garden shed. Although the hen does all the nest building, the cockbird is not being idle. This is the time to look out for courtship feeding, where he feeds the female just as he would a young fledgling. This courtship feeding is instigated by the hen, who crouches and flutters her wings and makes the sound of a young fledgling begging to be fed. This has many benefits for the hen, who has to lay about five eggs, and also when she is brooding the eggs, and later the young nestlings, so she has to spend less time away from the nest looking for food. I'm sure it must strengthen the bond between the pair, and it's good training for the male, will have to help with feeding the nestlings and young fledglings later on. Although the juvenile is spotty brown and doesn't have the red colouring of the adult, it already has the unmistakable long-legged silhouette and characteristics of the robin. This particular juvenile is already showing territorial instincts and it looks as if he's trying to lay claim to part of my garden as his own patch. It would be interesting to see if he succeeds in securing it as his own patch for the winter. Most juveniles are finally sent off by the parents and have to look for territories of their own. 
and as they start to get their first red feathers during the autumn molt, they obviously become much more of a target for being chased off. Originally the robin was a bird of the forest and would follow the wild boar around as they foraged on the forest floor and disturbed the insects and worms. Today the robin has turned its attention to us and our gardens. You've probably seen one keeping an eye on you as you work in the garden and popping down to pick up any tasty morsels that you turn up. Because the robin's territorial and stays in one place, if you spend any time in your garden, your local robin will soon become familiar with your presence and can become quite trusting, and with a bit of patience, will eventually become bold enough to feed from your hand. These are not tame birds, just very trusting, and retain all the independence and behavioural habits of a wild bird. It's not surprising that the robin was recently voted as our national bird. With its smart appearance, its friendly and cheeky habits, and its beautiful song that it sings all year round. This popularity is borne out by the number of Christmas cards we all receive each year that feature the very familiar red-breasted robin. If you're interested, I've highlighted a few more of my Robin videos at the end of this film.